Hey folks, this video is going to be about finding the creative access points that can put you and your kayak onto water that uh, that not as many people see. Or in the case of where I'm going to go tomorrow, uh, it's going to put me closer to somewhere that I could eventually get to if I paddled or motored up or down to it or set up a float trip, but I just don't have the time in uh, in my schedule tomorrow to do a longer float trip. So I wanna go directly to a spot and use an informal access. Um, before I get into that, I do wanna give you just a quick plea to look through the, uh, the channel playlist. And in particular, check out this one. It's kayak fishing skills right there. And I have 66 different videos there. Uh, this is going to be one of them, but there's a whole lot of information there uh, that I would implore you to uh, to check out. But for now, we're going to, to jump onto Google Maps and see if we can get eyes on what I think is going to be a good way to get to a spot that I've driven past and said, I want to fish there. Now, if creative access points really aren't your style and you'd really just prefer to go to a place that you know is um, is easier and, and there's no question of legality of can I put in there. Uh, for sure you can get your hands on some of the water trail maps uh, that are available for, for, your, uh, for your watershed um, or you can go online and find the different list of, um, in this case it would be Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission um, public launches. So this is on the, the Susquehanna River and I think the spot that I was interested in was right in here. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to, we go over here to the layers, and uh, this is gonna allow me to really see the ledges that I think I saw. Let me zoom in there. And not quite there yet. Nope not Liverpool. Let's go further down. So you can check the different histories of, uh, you know, obviously this is showing a summer low and then this is a little bit higher, um, higher flow and I'm gonna say by the looks of the foliage on the, these islands that that was, uh, we'll just say not the middle of summer. So the place that I'm curious about checking out though is right along in here and I think if I can find a place to park along the roadside there, which I'm going to show you an app called OnX that allows us to uh, to see, hey, let's just make sure that we're not, not trespassing on someone's land. Um, there's lots of public easement um, up and down the road. Um, this is actually Route 15 in Pennsylvania, uh, but there's also a lot of um, private land in between where you're, where I'm going to be driving on Route 15 and the river. So we're going to look at OnX and figure out, you know, hey, is this um, is this land that we're allowed to be on? So the next step is to drive there and to to really figure out, hey, can I park my vehicle legally there? And is there a way for me to drag my kayak down into uh, the water in this area? And really what I'm looking to do is to access some of these, these ledges up in this area. Just look really nice. So I'm on the way and part of really utilizing creative access points, finding them, figuring out if they're gonna work or not is is just the legwork of going there and pulling over on the side of the road and looking. Are there posted signs? Is this a safe place to park? Is this somewhere where other people have parked? Is there a precedent for using this, you know, this piece of land in between road and water that, um, that show that, yeah, this is, this is okay. Uh, but ultimately, you ought to do the research to figure out who owns that land between the road and the water. And that's where I use the OnX app to really determine 
you know, hey, who's who's land am I thinking about crossing to get to to the water? And if it's public land, then you can use it. If it's private land, you can contact that landowner and ask them, can I use your, you know, can I walk across your land, carting a boat across to get to the water? And you can do that by knocking on doors. You can do that by figuring out through Onyx, hey, who is who is this landowner? And, and, you know, researching, getting their phone number and calling them. Probably about six miles out from the spot I was looking at, on Google Maps and I'm just gonna pull over on the side of the road when I get close to uh, to check the OnX app. The OnX is, is really a hunting app that tells you who owns that land. Wherever you put your finger, whatever pin drop you, you choose, it tells you who the landowner is. And if it's owned by a local municipality or if it's otherwise public, and it's not posted without, you know, with signs that say you can't park there. Yeah, I, uh, I consider that fair game. We're about half a mile from the pin drop. I was curious, four tenths of a mile. I'm gonna go ahead and pull over. I got someone in the lane behind me. I'm gonna just... He's over onto the shoulder. And I'll let these folks by. So this, this is where I wanted to do it. But um, yeah, I've arrived. This is not a particularly safe place for me to be unloading. I think I could drag down there. But, uh, I think I could do it. I think I could hop that guardrail. Let's take a look as this truck goes blowing past. Um, I'm not totally comfortable doing this, but let's look at Onyx. There's the Onyx. So, we're right, come on focus right there and you see this red this red area here that shows hey this is private property and if we click on that like if I go on there this shows the owner so that's who I would need to contact to get there but all I'd want to do is go from here to there I would cross this land right here that is Pennsylvania municipality area. So public land, um, but maybe not the smartest place to do it. I could totally hop the guardrail, go down there, but I don't feel anywhere close to safe unloading a boat right here. So I'm gonna keep moving and uh, find a different way to access this water here. Is it legal? Yeah, would I leave my vehicle parked here? Mm, not really cool. Um, I could unload here and drive down the road and be okay just to unload here, but I'm gonna keep moving, see if I can find a, a safer place to access the water that I'm not right next to 18 wheelers blowing past. Let's keep moving, keep looking. This is the legwork that it takes to find these sweet spot, you know, access areas. All right, I am within a mile of, uh, of where I just was. And thankfully, there is a fish and boat comm commission launch there. I'm gonna go ahead and use that to access the water. Um, it's not the creative access point that I was looking for, but you know, this is legal and I got a motor, <laughs> so I'll zoom down there and zoom back. But at least that shows you the, the process. And I'm, you know, 
I wanted to at least go through what I do to find these places. I spend days where all I do is go to places, look at the Onyx app, and try to find creative access points to get into places that aren't so easy to get into. If you go to the same places everyone else does, and you don't push the envelope and try to find places like this, you're really missing out. This was a creative access point fail, but at least I've investigated it, and for every five or six fails, I find one really good one. So keep searching, use Google Maps, use Onyx, and find your own creative access point.